as you can see we had just a small interruption the battery uh, went dead on it I simply wanted to give us that little informal information this 25 to 7 so I want to conclude this uh, so we can get it out you that uh, can see this on the night at this day night and uh, Over about a hurricane off the coast of northern Africa, and then there was one over the other place coming from the west. One off the coast of the northern part of that beach continent, uh, headed to sudden what uh, But we do the job yeah, for all things. They should let me say this, my friends. There's nothing like community life. You are slaves out there. You call it what you want to. Every time you make those out, doesn't it? Car payment, car insurance, trying to prove that you're an upstanding person, outstanding and upstanding. You are what you call the best. How, how can it be the best when it made by cheap labor? That is so silly. And they woo you with these things that there's no way. I have never, as a young man, worn designer clothes because I'm not promoting no fashion. Karen Klein, these homosexual looking ass? No, uh, uh, I didn't even know y'all, but I wasn't playing that way. You got all, you got all this homosexual name on your shirt and all that you think you're holding something. Not me. I have never done that. I've never been a part of that. Never have. And there are those that think that that makes a slave of one, but you ain't cool. You pay a man for a shirt that was made in probably a factory in China, Hong Kong, uh, somewhere in Vietnam, Cambodia, with all kinds of chemicals, chemicals and every kind of violation of any kind of, uh, any kind of health consciousness of human beings. You won't buy that if you have something. You're silly. You're as mature as they come. Vision. You put that on your side and I get a pair. I have never worn a pair. There's no. I had one pair. I never, my wife gave me those. She worked at this place at that time where they sold everybody. See, I never wanted it. I would not give a man a hundred and twenty dollars in and out of that seat. This is how it From the time he said that the conservatives are they buy my CDs too. I have no That's me. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. The school system doesn't care. The ones that are black and rich in the darkness of it, they don't care. Unless you parents, you educate our way. You teach them disciplines and manners, mannerism to deal with people. You try to teach them how to speak with proper linguistics, how to talk. They can go to a boardroom. I could have gone to a boardroom of me. And they would all have but I've been in touch with to this day, to this day, that's not you. Because I've done presentation at IBM, so some of the most arrogant people that scrutinize. I close with this. There was a man, his name was Charles Redman. I worked under him, the student. He didn't do me right. There were not that many people in my heel working at IBM. I worked for one, he was black and then black. He gave me a full performance. And I know why he did that. And then I worked for this heel Billy Coke Pig. His name was Ron B. Cowboy Booth of Arizona. Where the true red next year's be. He saw my performance, my attitude. And so when he evaluated my work, he says to me that this was a white man. He said, I can't see why he gave you a fault. You are a one performer, and that's what I want. 
He gave me money. My managers gave me money. He gave me raises. Put me in for promotions. I worked for one of the very line of my youth. Had made money selling houses. His name was George Quinn. He was candid and honest with me. They would tell me their personal business. It was not a joke. I'm not a clown. I don't think I'm anything. I'm not about to volatile and folly. I don't, don't come here, man and daughter, thinking we're going to sit around, we're going to laugh and all that good job. I don't do that. I think that would no. Well, you're so staunch, you know, I'm just And I know the reality of this life and this work. So I say to you, my friends, do, do watch and tell others come visit. We don't allow people the first time to really stay here. You come visit the hotel. We got a lovely hotel seven miles from here. And then after that, we invite you then to stay until you come. We have places. You come and stay. We furnish you with all the food and everything. Even when you come, you have all the food you want. All clean food, no pork, no pork fat, no shrimp, no lobsters. We clean according to Torah. And then after that, because I've had them come and they know everything. You're not gonna come. You think you're gonna come to my house and bulldog me? That's crazy. But I have to do that. I have to do that. I said to you all have a, an excellent day. I will finish this, get it up tonight so that you can listen to this. So I say to us all, Yabaruch, Shalom, Shalom. Just strength be with you. Yoshua's my name. Never look.